students this uh, class this lesson in discover we make a revision on discover we studied this before we studied that we don't have to eat health eat fast food all the time we don't this have is revision. what this is, this is revision this is revision thank you we studied also that we don't have to play video games all the time we call this self-management self-management when you control yourself here we learned that we should work together this is called collaboration or working together and here we studied that we should communicate we communicate by talking by writing or drawing we here learned decision making it means make the right decision and here we learn it critical thinking like compare like think Now, students, when you see this, you learn. I ask you what is this. I told you this is a butterfly. Now you know this is a butterfly. And I ask you what is this, and I ask, answer you it is a bee. Now you know that this picture is a picture of a bee. And what is this? You know, it's a t-shirt. T-shirt is some. It is a kind of clothes. Now, when I give you this picture and I ask you, what is this? You know this is a butterfly. You know this is a bee. You know this is a t-shirt. Why you know them? Because you saw them before. This is part of a butterfly that you saw before. This is part of a bee that you saw before. This is a part of clothes that you see before. This is an old information. And this is a new information. You compare the old information in your head with the new information that you see with your eyes. Now, I ask you now, what do you think the image is? This image is, it could be a bee, it could be a butterfly. It also could be a bird. What makes you decide, what makes me decide colors? What else? Also lines, lines in the picture. What do you think is the image is? I think this is a fly or a bee. What in the image helped you decide eyes and legs helped me decide? What do you think the image is? I think it's cloth or fabric. Students, fabric means a cloth. It is the same. What in the image help you decide? Uh, lines. When I see these lines together, I know it's a cloth or strings. Strings means a line that we use to make clothes. This is an easy riddle, an easy riddle. My number is less than 10. You can add my number three times to make the number 15. What is my number? 
It's a very easy student. So the number here is five. I solve the problem like this. I the problem the question says add me three times to have fifteen. So I say five plus five plus five equals fifteen. I am a unit of measurement. I can measure the length of an object. I am useful for measuring the length of a paper clip. What am I? Students, we use centimeter, meter, and the kilometer to measure. Paper clip is very small or small or big. It is not very small. It is not big. It is a small. So when we measure the paper clip, we use the centimeter. The answer here, centimeter. I solve the riddle like this, meter for big things. Millimeter is for very small things. Centi meter is for small things. Paper clip is small. So I use centi meter to measure it. Meter is for big things. Millimeter is for very small things. Centimeter is for small things. Paper clip is small. It is not very small, it is not big. So I use centimeter to measure it. Let's move to another activity. I can use critical thinking skills. My favorite strategy today, it was comparison. Because I compared the old information with the new information. I compared the old information with the new information today to know the answer for question. In this activity, we have this athlete. He runs and to jump. We want to ask a question about the picture. We have a question here. How far did he run? We can also say, how high can he jump? In this exercise, we want to write the number of students who can jump for this distance. Who can jump before three, zero, from, three, from zero to 40 centimeter? For example, let's make it five students. And who can jump up 
jump up from 41 centimeter to 80 centimeter. Let's say make it four students. And who can jump from 81 to 120 centimeter? Let's say make it three students. Okay, and who can jump from 121 to 160? For example, let's make it two students. Who can jump greater than 160? Let's make it one student. Now, the information here, people who jump from zero to 40, five. People who jump from 41 to 80, four. People who jump from 81 to 120, three. People who jump from 121 to 160, two. People who jump greater than 160, one. Let's draw. Let's draw a graph. Okay. Let's draw a graph. Here's four, five, three, two, one. We are going to draw a graph for this information. Now we have three kinds of graphs here. This one, this one, and this one. Which one we will choose? This graph gives me a sign or X for one athlete. I can see this graph very well. I can understand it very well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can count. So this graph is very good. I will mark it with a circle because this graph is very clear. Okay. Thank you, Adam. Because you are writing on my screen, you remember the me to disable annotation. Thank you. Now, what about this graph? This is nice also. He gives me one dot for each athlete. I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. I can count the number. This is very clear one. This is a very clear graph. So this one also is okay. What about this graph? Look you can't understand the number very well because you here have a shape not a number you can't count the green one two three four five you can't count the pink one two three four five so this graph i will not i will not choose it now we have this line we wanted to draw our own graph do do you remember what's the number that we make here here was four uh, five here was four here three two one Let's write them, let's draw them on the graph. Here, I will draw sign for five students. One, two, three, four, five. And the students who jump at 41 centimeters, we made them four. One. Two. Three. Four. This range, we made just the three students. One. Two. Three. This range, we made two students. One, two. In this range, we made one student. So it's only one. Here, we have five. Here, we have four. Here, we have three, two, and one. Now, let's move to the questions. With what range had the greatest number of students? From 0 to 40, we have five students there. Which range has the least number greater 
than 160. We have only one student there. What information may be, may be missing from your graph? In my graph, I didn't say anything about time. So time is missing in my graph. This is a good activity. Now, I want you to listen to this story, students. Listen carefully. I will tell you this story. Let me check my time first. Okay. We have here two friends. This boy is Rashad. This girl is Zina. They are friends. They live next to each other. They are neighbors. One day they are in the school. The teacher asked them to make a to make a play or to make a, pl a play it is it is like the movie a play is something we make in the class we act like uh, like uh, doctors or nurses or uh, teachers we take rules in the play you can see the movie on tv but you see the play on the theater. Yes, Malik? Uh, teacher, is this a story? Yes, this is a story. Thank you. Oh, so what the teacher asked them to do? The teacher asked them to write Okay, the teacher asked them to choose a story to make a play. Rashad had a story about the Arabian horses. Zina had a story about Egyptian athlete. Rashad told Zina about his idea, but Zina laughed at Rashad. Zina laughed at Rashad. Zina made fun of Rashad. Rashad was very angry. He Look, he doesn't want to talk to her because she laughed at him. She made fun of him. Then Rashad went to whom? He told his mother. This is his mother. He told his father. He told his sister about what happened. He told them, I had a problem in the school. My friend Zina laughed at me. She didn't like my idea about the horses. And she didn't like any idea, any other ideas from the students in the class. I don't think she is my friend. I am very angry because she laughed at me. Remember students laughed at means make fun of laugh at means they make fun of okay his mother told him ask her ask your friend zina about her idea it may be better than your idea idea his sister yasmin told him forget your own idea and listen to your friend zina idea because Zina will not play with you if you don't listen to her. His father told him, ask all the students to talk about their own ideas. Because like this, you can understand all the ideas and choose the best one. So... His mother asked him to listen to other people. His sister asked him to forget about his idea. His father asked him to, to listen to all the ideas from his friend. Rashad was helping them with food. And he and Zanikis was helping them to clean the food. And he thinks about the decision. He thinks about the decision that he should make. 
in the next day at the school, Rashad with his friend Zina, with the classmates, told them, I need you all to talk about your ideas. We think which one is the best. If your idea, my friend, if your idea is the best, we will choose it. My friend, if your idea is the best, we will choose it. And this is true with Zina, and this is true with me. Everyone thinks and talks about his idea. The best one, we will choose it. But how will we choose it? We make votes. We take this paper and write the names of the students who think that my idea is the best. And the students that think that my friend Zina idea is the best. And we count the names. If many students think my idea is the best, we will make the play about my idea. If many students think that my friend Zina idea is the best, we make a play, a play about her idea. What happened after this, students? The problem, students, that the class chose two ideas. The class chose Zina's idea and Rashad's idea. So they have two ideas. But Zina said, we can make a play about the two ideas. We can make a play about my ideas and your ideas. And by this, students, all of them collaborated. They worked together well, and they were happy. Now, let's move to some questions. Malik? Yes. Here we have questions, Malik. We don't have wrong answer and the correct answer. You just choose the best answer for you. Okay. Read the first one. Your friend makes fun of you someone in the class. Yes. In class. Yes. What will you do? A. Ask your friends to, to stop. Good. So if your friend makes fun of, some, uh, of someone in the class, you can ask him to stop. Thank you. This is good Thanks. answer. Omar Mu'min. Yes. Read the situation number two, please. Your friend Fisher, you to do something you do not want to do. Okay. What will you do? Omar, you can choose number one. Uh, you can choose letter A. It's correct. Here, is students, in this exercise, we can choose many answers. So number okay. one, you can choose A, you can choose B, you can choose C. But think about yourself. If someone asks you, uh, do you remember uh, Omar? Your friend, Omar, stop. Do you remember in the class when one of your friends took your ruler? Yes. What did you do? You asked him to stop, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, I remember that. That happened, I think, two weeks ago. So... Omar says, I will ask my friend to stop if he pressures me. This is a good answer. He can say, I get help from an adult. This is also a good answer. But we are different students. Every one of us choose a different answer. He chooses the answer that he likes. Thank you, Omar. You're welcome. And thank you, Malik. Ayat Tahir. Number three. Read it, please. Your friend does not listen to your ideas. Yes. Do you remember Iyad, yesterday when you asked your friend to play with you? Yesterday in the class, when we finished the class, you asked your friends to play with you? If your friends didn't listen to your ideas, what will you do? You will ask your friend to stop or you will get help from an adult, like the teacher, for example, or walk away and find other friends. What will you do? Ahmed Atiyah? Yes. 
اوكي yes. احمد عطيه وات ويل يو دو اف يور فريندز doesn't listen to your ideas ask to stop get help from an adult walk away and find other friends be a friend listen and support say nothing and walk away what will you do for example ahmed atiya you want to draw okay you want to draw okay and your friends don't don't want to draw with you they will say we will not listen to you We will play football. We will not draw. What will you do? You walk away and leave them? Or you ask them to stop? Or you get help from an adult? Or you be a friend to them, listen to them, support them, speak up? Or you say nothing and walk? What will you do? I think C. C. Walk away and... Okay, that's fine. I see. Thank you. It's not wrong. It's okay. It's okay. Ahmed Mustafa? Yes. Number four. Your friend tells your secret to other people in the class. For example, for example, Ahmed Mustafa, you told your friend something you told the, you told your friend for example that you don't like swimming you don't like swimming what will you do if your friend tells all the class that ahmed mustafa doesn't like swimming what will you do what help from an ad adult excellent adult. excellent ahmed mustafa thank you very much أنس عبد الرحمن نعم يا مستر this one please your friend uh, your friend spreads a rumor about someone in the class spreads a, a rumor means your friend is lying he doesn't say the truth he says he says things that don't happen what will you do get help from an adult walk away be friend say nothing ask for an apology What will you do? Uh, uh, For example, A, uh, number A. A, get help from an adult. Excellent. Thank you very much. We are going to stop here, students, and meet you after five minutes. Thank you.